In the last decade, authorities say they have recorded more than 22,000 cases of sex trafficking. The numbers come from the National Trafficking Hotline. The majority of victims, 87 percent, are under the age of 25. It is National Human Trafficking Awareness Month, but this is a problem happening every day all across Tennessee. And we can make a difference by paying attention to people in our communities. Identifying trafficking victims is tricky, but not impossible. And 10 News reporter Shannon Smith joins us with more on the reality of trafficking in our area. Shannon. John, Robin, the image of someone following you through the grocery store and kidnapping you in the parking lot is how a lot of us picture the start of human trafficking, but it's a lot more subtle than that, but noticeable if you know what to look for. Human trafficking is constant. According to law enforcement, a child is bought and sold for sex every two minutes in the United States. That means it's happening every day in Tennessee. Oftentimes they're blending in. They're living right next to us. They're working next to us. Natalie Ivey with the Community Coalition Against Human Trafficking says there are a lot of misconceptions about what trafficking looks like. A lurking monster, scary character who's in the background who's going to snatch and grab your children or you. She said there are bad people out there, but that's not how trafficking works. The likelihood of that is trafficking is slim to none. Ivy said most victims know their traffickers and the most common type in Tennessee is familial trafficking, which means a family member is a trafficker. Uh, it is not uncommon for us to see mom as a trafficker. That can make it hard to realize a child is a victim. You have to be kind of um, critically paying attention to the way folks are interacting with each other. Here are some signs to look for. Deferring to that trafficker in the conversation, not making eye contact with the general public, looking to the trafficker before she answers a question, making, you know, her, her speech might be very scripted. If a person doesn't have control of their ID or money, is dressed provocatively or always wearing the same outfit or has a prepaid cell phone. Those are all signs they may be a victim. The idea that a mom next door could be trafficking their kid is much, much more difficult for people to talk about than this idea of a premise of a Liam Neeson movie. Check in with the people in your life who you may think need help. And if you ever suspect someone's a trafficking victim, call the Tennessee Human Trafficking Hotline. That number is right here on your screen. Robin, John. Stunning number, Shannon. Thank you. You can find our Selling Girls series right now in the 10 News app. It explains how sex trafficking typically happens, how traffickers make money, also the stories of survivors. You can also find that series online right now in the TV section of the 10 News app.